Hey everybody, this is Jason Creel. This is the Lawn Care Life. Today I'm gonna to talk to you about what I'm spraying on the lawns as the fall approaches. Now one of the things people don't realize is this application is actually one of the most important for the whole year. I wish that I could get customers to sign up with my business during the fall of the year uh, as opposed to April and May of next year, which is not necessarily an ideal time. I'll take them whenever I can get them, you know, but the fall would be my preference. So today I'm going to show you the exact products that I'm spraying on the lawn. I'm going to tell you the rates I'm using them and, um, and hopefully you'll learn a lot and we'll talk about what you need to be doing to your lawn in the fall now today's video is sponsored by my friends at graham spray equipment the tank that i use on the back of my truck the rig is made by graham spray equipment and that's where i'm mixing these products and spraying them out on my customers lawns and there she is my graham spray rig right there all right let's get started talking about the products and helping you have a great lawn with this fall application it's going to make a huge difference in the amount of weeds that are in your lawn over the course of the winter and next spring okay so one thing i want to mention just in uh introductory here is that it's not the only application you can do on your lawn okay there, there are other products you can use uh, i'm just simply telling you what i'm doing I, I can tell you a couple of modifications if you want to try something different i realize not everybody's got a, a graham spray rig i realize not everybody wants to spend the amount of money on the products um, that are featured here but we can at least talk about them we can at least talk about the principles of why we're doing what we're doing and talk to you you know maybe if you want to do something different you you have at least a better understanding of what you're trying to accomplish so that you're not doing like a lot of people do and you're just basically guessing you just go buy something that says weed and feed on the shelf at the big box store and just spray it and just hope it works you know so we're we're not going to do that okay so uh, hopefully you're going to be educated by this if nothing else all right so fall of the year what's going on in lawn you see here my bermuda lawn is still holding pretty decent color uh, probably because i put a lot of slow release fertilizer on it over the year you can see front yard looking good except where the septic tank went in we did a remodel on the house but what's going on in the lot well there's still nut sedge popping up as you can see i wish i could uh, invent something that would get rid of i tell people if you can get if you invent a product that will get rid of nut sedge you might not be a millionaire you might be a billionaire because it's just a tough one uh, and again my yard you know you look at it, the dews on it this morning so the color's a little a little weird from the dew but um it, it looks good from a distance but you get close there's some imperfections there's some crabgrass there's some things going on but in this particular situation when i'm out spraying yards which i just started uh let's see i think i started september the 7th or 8th i'm doing my fall application it's going to take me on into mid october probably to finish i'm not spraying the nut sage for the most part there's still some summer weeds i've been spraying nut sage for months and i'm i'm just kind of done with that you know if you, if you will it's not that i'm unwilling to spray it it's just the nut sage and the crabgrass things like that are going to be going away soon they're already stopped growing as fast as they were a month ago so let's focus on uh, what we are trying to accomplish uh, because those are two weeds uh, i'm just telling you from my standpoint i, I just to me it's not worth dealing with now you live in a warmer climate where those are still actively growing then maybe you want to um, treat those with a sedge product or you know some kind of quinchloride product to knock out the crabgrass so moving on to what we are doing think about it as the weather cools off you, you think about it in terms of this you got warm season weeds and cool season weeds the warm season weeds are still in your lawn at least in my area i'm in the birmingham alabama market and i'm filming this video in september there's still warm season weeds out there. There's spurs, there's chamber bitter. Uh, we showed you the nut sedge, the crabgrass, things like that. Um, but a lot of those are going to be going away soon when the cold weather hits. And there's a new batch of cool season weeds that's about to start germinating. You're talking about the poa annua, talking about henbit, uh, you know, lots of them. Uh, and I've, I hadn't seen them in six months, so they're not fresh off the tip of my mind. You got purple dead nettle, and then you got weeds like dandelions and things like that that seem maybe have been hanging around all summer not really enjoying the heat but they start to perk up as the weather cools off so, so what we're trying to do is get the pre-emergent in the ground watered in before 
those annual cool season weeds germinate like poa annua or annual bluegrass you know we want to get that down and try to prevent as much of that is being seen in the yard as possible now basically what the pre-merch is going to do is going to kill it very early in the life cycle so that you never see it so it needs to be down and watered in to be effective before you walk outside and you say oh wow it feels like fall out here so you know to this morning i, I look and it's 59 degrees okay it's been in the 60s mostly for our lows no big deal i still got time but if i walk outside and it's 47 degrees then maybe uh the cool season weeds have already started germinating okay and so i want to try to get ahead of that with my pre-emerging now i'm i'm taking care of hundreds of yards i'm not gonna necessarily get all all of them done before that cool snap hit so you may, I may be a little early on some maybe just right on some may be just uh, a little bit late on some now, if you're a homeowner you can actually look at your weather and say oh wow there's where the cold snaps coming in i need to get my pre-emergent out and watered in the week before that if you want to do that that's great it's not necessarily realistic for lawn care business owners who take care of hundreds of yards to be able to do them all that perfect week so because you may be a little early on some, a little late on some, um, that we, it's going to change up the mixture of what we're spraying on the yard. So let's show you the products. All right, Spectacle Flow. This is a, not a, an inexpensive product, but this is the pre-emerging I'm using. And when I'm talking about being late on some, one of the great things about Spectacle is it has the ability to reach back. Now, let's say you're a little bit late and some of the pole has already germinated. Uh, then the Spectacle can still help with that baby poa and maybe be able to kill it even after it's germinated um, so this is what i'm using and you can also use prodiamine that's a, a common pre-emergent that i use uh, early in the year like january february march that works great on crabgrass it's definitely a less expensive product but spectacle we use it because it's so great on poa has that reach back ability and it just helps with a lot of weeds it lasts a long time so when i started using spectacle in the fall it it was noticeably different results even on things like burn weed you'd see the fall and spring but my yards are looking much cleaner um, you know specifically if i was targeting one weed it would be po annual but it's not just that it works on a lot of weeds so to me it's worth the extra cost so um, this is what i'm using but like i said if you want to use prodiamine much cheaper um, both those prodiamines speckle you can go get them in a granular form if you if you just want to use a push spreader it's going to be a little bit more expensive and i like using liquid because i can mix multiple products at the same time all right so there's our um, pre-emergent you can do uh, multiple applications like some people do split applications they might do three ounces in september and come back and do three ounces in november something like that i do one application in the fall and i'm doing uh, six and a half ounces so i started like i said uh, fairly early september it'll carry me on into mid to late october um, before i get done with them all but i'm doing six and a half ounces per acre uh, and even though this ball is expensive when you you know, do the math it's not terribly expensive um, you know for as far as it goes a long way i'll put it that way all right and i'm gonna put some links in the description for some of these products if you want to check them out on your own what else am I putting in the tank? Now, this is 2,4-D. You see their active ingredients, 2,4-D. Now, this is gonna help, let's say that some of the cool season weeds have already germinated. Let's say you got some uh, henbit or purple dead nettle or something that's in the yard, or you just got some warm season weeds hanging around like the spurge and things like that. Then the 2,4-D is an inexpensive post-emergent that I can uh, mix in there to help knock out some of those weeds, whether they be late warm season weeds or early cool season weeds. The Princep here, active ingredient, Simazine. So the Simazine, my understanding, is gonna help as a post-emergent with a lot of those, uh, with a lot of the weeds if you've got stuff in, but it can also help if you've got some baby poa, you know, let's say, so I'm, I'm, I'm kind of double dipping here. I'm hoping if, if I'm late and some poa's already germinated, hopefully the spectacle will reach back and get it, or maybe the, the Simazine will reach back and get it. But again, another post-emergent product's gonna help with some of those weeds that may have already germinated and the surfactant so i'm just putting in the fall i'm just using one pint for every uh, 100 gallons in my spray tank and the surfactant it just helps these products stick to the plant so that it'll be more effective now if you're just spraying 
pre-emergent, you don't necessarily need surfactant mixed in there with it. You just want it uh, to be watered into the ground. But when you start putting post-emergence in there, then you want to go with the surfactant. You can see right there, it says on here, pre-emergent herbicide for control of annual grasses, annual sedges, and annual broadleaf weeds in warm season turf grass. So don't use on your cool season grasses. And the last thing I'm mixing in there is Metsulfuron, a very inexpensive product. And I'm just using it at a quarter of an ounce per acre. So very low rate, very cheap product. And I, you know, you can go one or the other. You could go with 2,4-D if you want to just use that, or you could go just with Metsulfuron. I'm, uh, I have put both in here recently because one, this is so cheap and that's pretty cheap. And I found that, you know, it seems like some do better than others. One does better on certain weeds than the other. So, you know, I, I've used just Metsulfuron in the past and it seems like the dandelions um, would still hang around. So I put that in there, the 2,4-D for the dandelions. But the Metsulfuron can help, you know, I've still got some yards that's got chamber bitter in there and uh, spurs and things. So I, I think it will help with those. Maybe even get some of the yellow wood sorrel oxalis that i'm seeing in the yard so i just put them both in there um, and this is my combination again a quarter ounce per acre now if i was using uh, these products for a centipede or saint augustine yard in the past i just uh, i used to just use prodiamine but i actually started using spectacle last year even on my uh, centipede and St. Augustine yards, but I would use it at a lower rate. So I was putting it out at four ounces per acre instead of six and a half. And what I was told, you can basically calculate that each ounce per acre is about a month worth of control. So you'd say six and a half ounces per acre. Hopefully the pre-emergence is going to hang in there for six and a half months. So if you put it out in September, hopefully it's going to carry you, you know, at least through March of the following year. And by then, you're probably putting out more pre-emergent for your warm season grasses. Well, at four ounces per acre, uh, if you do it in September, October, you know, maybe it carries you through January or February. And the idea here is that by the time the, the centipede and the St. steam kind of start recovering from winter, that maybe the spectacle won't impede them at all. There, there might be some slight concern. Is that gonna cause some uh, difficulty for those grasses to recover? Well. Me doing it last year, I'll just say visibly, I thought the results were fantastic, okay? I, I didn't see any damage, and I will go as far as to say that my centipede yards look better this past year than I ever remember before. Now, uh, and I didn't see any difficulty in the spring with them having problems, so, and definitely less cool season weeds, because that's, that's the problem sometimes with your centipede in St. Augustine, if you end up with a lot of cool season weeds, let's say March, and the grass is transitioning, it can be hard to control them without damaging the grass during that period of time. So I thought, well, if I can you know, get ahead of them with a pre-emergent and then not be as many yard, uh, be as many weeds in the fall and spring, then that's the way I'm gonna go. So that's what I did. I thought it worked great, four ounces per acre. And I uh, would leave the 2,4-D out. If you wanna put some kind of post-emergent in there, you could use like a Trimec Southern or something like that for your, uh, for your uh, centipede and St. Augustine lawns. Uh, check the label on all these guys and use your PPE and you know follow the label. Uh, even if I say something, double check me on the label. But uh, so if I'm the centipede in St. Augustine, I'm going with spectacle four ounce breaker and still putting the Princept in there and still putting that in there. And, and, and you could use the Metzelfuron if you wanted a, a post-emergent. It's labeled for those at a quarter ounce per acre. So, but um, I would recommend leaving the 2,4-D out on those grass types. All right, a lot of information. Hopefully it made sense. Hopefully you understand it. Again, you can modify it, but you understand what we're trying to accomplish. We're trying to knock out post-season weeds. We're trying to knock out weeds, whether they're already uh, some warm season weeds still hanging in there, or cool season weeds that hadn't germinated yet. We're trying to get our pre-emergent down before those weeds germinate. Um, hopefully some good information. If you are thinking of starting a weed control and fertilization business, I do have a video course that's been popular and I've sold quite a few of them. It is a weed control and fertilization academy. It is available at LawnCareLife.com. There's also um, some documents that are out there. I've got a brand new one I'm gonna tell you about here in just a minute, but there's the documents that have the programs that I'm using, what I'm spraying, has pricing charts if you're starting a business. Um, it has a document that has all the products that I commonly use and the rates that I use them at, so a lot of information. 
um, and I think that's $59. I may go up on that soon because I'm gonna be probably adding this new document that I'm creating and I'll try to make it known to you soon. But um, basically what it is, I have listed out uh, a lot of commonly used herbicides and it's kind of a cheat sheet. It's gonna tell you the, right there on the document the active ingredient, the name of the product, the rates to use per, th per thousand if you were spot spraying, the rates to use per acre if you were blanket spraying, mixing up in a tank. Uh, it tells you which grass types it's safe to use on. So it, it's just, instead of having to Google the label and look it up and say, okay, what I'm using Celsius, which grass types could I use it on? What's the rate? It's all right there on this easy to read chart, okay? And I wanna, I think I'm gonna add to it some of the common weeds that I deal with and my recommended product for each of those weeds. So uh, I think it'll be a great document that if you just want a cheat sheet, and again, you don't wanna be looking up labels all the time, It'll have the information right there available for you. Those things are available at Lot Care Life. Like I said, that new one should be available very soon. But the other things, the course, and there's a, a, a mowing academy that's $99. They call it Lawn Business Master Academy. Mosquito Academy, there's uh, logos available. I mean, we sell lots of stuff at LawnCareLife.com. Check it out. Hope this information is helpful for you. I put links in the description, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.